Hello, wonderful friends. I want to especially welcome you to a very powerful uh, series in this uh, success, money, and leadership uh, series of teachings and trainings. And uh, today is going to be what I call, I can call it a, a sub series of the men uh, series, a family series. So today uh, I want to be uh, involved in something that I feel that is very important, mm. something I think that is quite impressive in my heart, and that has to do with how to uh, develop and how to, or how to build a successful family or successful children, how to build a successful family and, or a successful children instead of successful children uh, this is very very important because a whole lot of people uh, will always when we talk about success they have always limited success to uh, being a successful businessman being a successful career person a, a successful banker a successful uh, professor a successful businessman, a successful politician. Uh, so many persons are successful engineers, but they are unsuccessful parents. They are unsuccessful family men and women. Uh, they have many unsuccessful children. Uh, I want you to know that uh, this is very important to you as a person. It's also important to our society because I've come to realize that everything that is happening in our society, in our continent, has to do with how successful the family system is. All the young men that are involved in kidnapping, all the young men that are involved in assassination, all the young men that are involved in brigadage, all the young men and women that are involved in prostitution, male and female prostitution, they were young men and women that had unsuccessful family upbringing. I want you to know that uh, God's word remains uh, the basis and the foundation for everything that has to do with having a successful family, a successful set of children. I, I want you to know one thing that as you begin to apply these principles, it's going to help you build a successful home. For those of us who are married, it's going to help you find to some things that you have actually neglected before now. Uh, for those of you who are not yet married, it's going to give you a very strong foundation and as you um, use it as a basis or uh, for every single thing that you're doing in uh, with respect to your family, I, I want you to know that you're going to have a very powerful, successful children. I have a whole lot of examples of people uh, as a pastor, uh, as a social transformer. Several persons have been complaining about their children, uh, both in the United States, uh, Europe, Asia, uh, Africa, Nigeria to be precise, I want you to know that the rules remain the same. A lot of things have actually gone bad uh, because of globalization and civilization and increased uh, demand for child uh, rights acts. Uh, most of those acts, as powerful as they may look like, have actually destroyed the family system. A lot of unsuccessful parents, a lot of unsuccessful children as a result of lack of control. So this is one of the reasons I decided to do this series and it's going to help you as a parent. So do make sure that you share this video to every parent that cares to listen or uh, every parent that you believe that is in die need of what I am going to be talking about today. And secondly, uh, the, one of the reasons that, one of the things that motivated me to do this video it has to do with, uh, I, I traveled of recent to uh, my daddy's maternal home and someone died and I went for a funeral of someone that died at the age of 100. And my dad was around on the burial and he was making an introduction uh, to one of his friends and they knew each other far back as 1962, 1963, they served a particular person in 1962 and 1963. And you know what? My dad was so proud of me. He introduced me as a lawyer, as a, the next governor of my state. He also introduced me as a, 
a pastor. He also introduced my wife as a lawyer. And then he was excited. I saw the excitement on his face. And also, the man was shocked that they have not seen themselves for more than, uh, let's say, uh, five decades now. And you know what? The, the man uh, didn't express himself properly because I perceived that he wasn't quite excited. But he was like, wow, your dad was, uh, uh, has been my friend. We all grew up together. And the man said, I'm just the vulcanizer that is along the road there. And that got me thinking. And he never mentioned anything that has to do with his children. I want you to know that it doesn't matter the kind of money you have as a man, as an unmarried person, as you begin to give attention to how to build a set of successful children, a set of successful family, uh, your life, your business, your career uh, is very, very important for your family and your children should be your priority as a person. I don't care how rich you are, once you have not a set of children, this will be a set of children and kids, once you have a naughty husband, once you have a nagging uh, wife or a nagging and contentious husband, you're not going to have a very wonderful home and it's going to affect your business, your career, your academics or, or whatever it is. So the number one uh, thing that you need to do if you want to build a successful home. But before I say uh, what I want to say, I've been married for 15 years now. Yes, I've been married for 15 years now and I have uh, a lot of experience to also share with people who are about to get married, young people who are not yet married, and those who are already married even before me. You can actually make a whole lot of changes and uh, learn a whole lot of things and unlearn a whole lot of things. The first thing that you must do if you want to build a successful family or, or successful children, if you want your children to be successful in their career, if you want your children to be successful in their marriage, if you want your children to be successful in their spiritual life, if you want your children to be successful in their financial life, if you want your children to be successful in their social interaction, the first thing you have to do is that you must point your children in the right direction. Most parents uh, directly or indirectly point their children uh, in the wrong direction. They tell lies before their children. They act stupidly before their children. They quarrel before their children. They exchange bad words before their children. They call themselves names before their children. I want you to know that you are pointing your children in the wrong direction. I, I, just like I told you, the scripture is very, very important. And the uh, Message Bible, the book of uh, uh, Proverbs chapter 22, verse 6, it said, point your kids in the direction, in the right direction, when they are old, they wouldn't be lost. Point your kids in the right direction. When they are old, they won't be lost. So if you want to have the accurate and powerful, successful children, I want you to point your children in the right direction. Someone may be asking, how do I point my children in the right direction? Expose your children in the right direction when it has to do with the things that would develop them physically, the things that would develop them spiritually, the things that would develop them academically, the things that would develop them socially. You don't expose your kids to certain things that would destroy their value system. You are meant to be part of the set of individuals that will create the necessary environment for your children to grow. You can actually uh, point your wife in the right direction as a husband and as a wife, you have the obligation to also correct your husband and give him direction as long as where he's going is counterproductive. It's going to be counterproductive. It's going to affect the whole family. I see a whole lot of uh, men, they allow their wives to do whatever they want to do. They go where they want to go, buy what they want to buy, and uh, come back when they want to come back home. I'm going to tell you something. The more you do that, you're going to destroy your family. I'm not trying to intrude into your family, please. I take exceptions to that. But I believe that there should be a certain level of control. Most times, most men do not understand that being a husband is a business. Until you take your family as a business, you will not be able to uh, create the necessary successful systems that is required to be a good father. I'm going to talk about that later. But it's important you understand as a woman that you can actually direct your husband. You don't watch your husband. You say, after all, he's the man. I don't, I don't have any contribution to make. Hey, listen to me. You have something to say. You must make sure that you stand up and put and put your hands and say, honey, this is not right. Honey, this is not good. Don't do this. As long as you know that this is not right, as long as you know that this 
is going to damage the image of your children, damage the image of the family. You have every responsibility. Uh, you have every right to stop your husband from doing something and insist. But adventure, if the man says no, you can actually get people that are his uh, mentors or people that are in spiritual confidence and they begin to insist because your family is very, very important. Your children, they are very, very important. But every mistake made by the husband, every mistake made by the wife, every mistake made by the children, it would definitely affect the success of the family. All right, the second thing that you need to do if you want to have a successful family and also if you want to have successful children is what I saw that was just very, very uh, uh, powerful uh, in verse number 15 of the same uh, proverb 22 verse 15. They said, young people are prone to foolishness and facts. The cure comes through tough-minded discipline. Mm. Tough-minded discipline is the second thing that you must do if you, have, if you want to have successful children. If you want to have successful wife, you must be tough-minded. I'm not talking about brutality. I'm not talking about taking advantage of the woman. I remember when I was growing up as a young man, I was filled with a whole lot of naughtiness, foolishness, and fads. But my dad was consistently engaging me in what the Bible described here as tough-minded discipline. You find a whole lot of people, their children are misbehaving, or probably your child happens to get involved in a, uh, a misbehavior, or your child became a miscreant in school, and uh, uh, you got a report that he or she was spanked. We run a school, our organization, uh, Fatal Leadership Academy, we run a school, and we find that, that most of the parents, once you spank their children, you find out that the parents will come and they say, don't you ever flog my child again. And you are watching that child and that child is watching you come to the school and make a whole lot of noise. I want you to know that one day the child is going to look at you and practice whatever that uh, he or she has learned from you or uh, whatever he or she has uh, seen you do or is beat. When you talk arrogantly to your husband, when you react so badly uh, uh, to your wife, you find that your children are going to take such kind of value systems and they begin to do that. Once you do that openly, uh, it's important you point your children in the right direction and establish tough discipline. You don't allow your children to eat whatever they want to eat when they want to eat it. You must make sure you tell them when to read their books. Uh, it depends on who is the most disciplined person at home. For me, I am the most disciplined person and I put my children on a very strong check because I want to build a successful home. So it's important. Most times the, people, the person that is a top-minded person might be the mother and most times the, uh, the top-minded personality might be the father. So at all points, there should be a synergy. There should be a combination of efforts between the husband and the wife to build powerful children and to create the necessary family system that is needed to develop uh, 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 the children and then create every other person that is part of the family must make sure that they align uh, with those discipline. In my house, uh, you don't use vulgar words on anybody. In my house, you don't shout at people aggressively. You don't do that. I'm going to beat you. I'm going to spank you. But you found that in America, in Europe, and several places, they said, no, don't touch the child. It's child abuse and love loss. That's, that's your own. But th this is one of the reasons why the children of uh, uh, these days in UK and US, most of them are not home trained. They, they don't have the necessary value systems uh, that is required to develop society. I want us to know something that it takes a, a well-trained, successful uh, family system to create a successful society. The third one for today, uh, the third thing that you need to do in order for you to have successful children is to create a value system. A value system. That value system can be a vision statement. That value system can be a set of rules and regulations. When I was getting married to my wife, I and my wife, we set up what we call the family creed. I will call it God is raising an end time army of first points, integrity and standard. We will be proud of his grace as he listed us in this earth-shaking move of God as we do all things through Christ that strengthens us. And that is one of the things that has been our guiding motto, our guiding principles. Our gu People have visions and value systems for their businesses, but they don't have value systems for their family. In my family, nobody leaves their house once it's 9 p.m. 
everybody, you must get back and be at home. So you need to understand this as a set of value systems. You don't come back with anything that is not your own in the house, whether my wife or the husband or the children. You don't steal. You are not uh, uh, permitted to be involved in any dishonest game. You are not permitted to do anything that is funny or anything that is going to work against the principles of God. I wanted to know something that uh, I read in the book of uh, Samuel and the first Kings and second Kings. It was actually talking about the stories of people who train their children well, those who do not train their children well. Take out time and read it. And one of those striking stories has to do with Hophini and Phineas. Those were children of pastors. The children, their father uh, never placed value system. The children, they, their children had to go to the church. They sleep around with women that came to the church for sacrifices. They, they, they desecrate the sacrifices on the altar and they do things. Uh, 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 they, they take ad they take laws into their hands. And you find out that when God got angry with everybody, God had to place judgment on the children, two children of uh, of Eli, Hofna, and Phineas, and their father ended up dying. I want you to know something that is your responsibility to set up a, a good setup of uh, value systems in your family. Whether you are married, you are not married, you are engaged, you have been married for a decade, you have been married for 15 or 20, you can actually start now to set up those value systems. Write the ones that you must write down in your family and then let your children know about it. There's something I normally do, and I would like you to also borrow the same. A lot of people die, and that's when people want to write some things about them. And nobody actually reads those things. Nobody reads those things. It's when the person has died, you find people, uh, they say that a condolence register has been opened, and then you find that the people come in, and then they want to come and write, uh, we miss you, we miss you. Nobody actually writes, reads those things. It's not important. I decided to write what I call... Uh, the dedication uh, registrar, I normally open up once I give birth and the day of the presentation of my children, I will always open a book for them and I'll ask the guests who are going to come to write some things concerning them, what they want them to be and a lot of prayers and all the rest of them and I will keep it for my children. And then when they're growing up, I have to show them these are the things that people said about you and there are things also God told me about them that I've been able to write down and they will read it and it's serving as a value system, it's serving as a compass, it's serving as a direction for them. You can actually borrow that same uh, uh, principle and that same uh, 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 attribute or behavior that I, I decided to develop myself and it's giving me massive results. I want you to know that God wants your family to be the best. I want you to know that God wants a family to succeed. I want you to know that God wants everything about you to succeed. But first and foremost, you must learn how to point your children in the, in the right direction. You must make sure that you are tough-minded in the area of discipline. And you must make sure that you give your children the right value system so that they will not become armed robbers in the future. You must make sure that your wife does not misbehave. You must insist that your husband does not go into something that is dirty that is going to destroy the family system. I pray for you, your family will succeed, and I speak into your life that your future will work. And I speak that God will cause everything that has to do with your family to experience the breakthrough in the name of Jesus Christ. Your children will be restored, your wife or your husband will be able to carry out the responsibilities their career will not go down god is going to help you and i speak to every aspect of your being that the glory of god is going to come upon you like never before in the name of jesus christ and i command that those children shall be restored and i speak for that everyone listening to me watching this video who have uh, developed a, an environment that has caused their children uh, to become naughty or become nuisance to society and I can speak to you this day that God is going to restore your children, restore your husband. If your daughter or your son has gone into homosexuality or lesbianism or gangsterism I break that spirit of wickedness and I command that the light of God is going to shine upon your children. The greater part of your life is imagine wisdom is coming upon your family like never before in the precious mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Beloved, this is your season. If you want counseling and direction and prayers on how we can actually help your children make advancement, please call the number that is on the screen and also subscribe, subscribe to our YouTube channel and watch other videos. Till I see you next time on this special sub-family series on success, money, and leadership. 
God bless you. I remain your pastor, Barristi Kenna Imano, the lead pastor of Faith Health Leadership Churches Worldwide and uh, International President of the International Center for Leadership, Diplomacy, Economic, and Human Development. Till I see you, God bless you.